Once you prepared your loose tube fibers, it's time to splice it to another cable or some pigtails. Splice trays are used to protect and hold fiber optic splices and store extra fiber in rack amount housings and keep fibers safe in fiber to the home structures. To do this procedure, you will need shears, fiber stripper, cleaver, fusion splicer, fusion protection sleeves, splice tray or termination box, zip ties, electrical tape, the fiber to be terminated, screwdriver. Once you've removed the jacket from the binder yarns, the water blocking tape and the splicer tubes from the loose tube fiber cables, it's time to use the pliers to cut the strength member at the specific length you need to incorporate it to the termination. Then you have to introduce the buffer into the termination box right to the splice tray and hold the strength member in place with the screwdriver. Mark the length you need to terminate the fiber from and remove the buffer jacket from that point with the stripper. Then clean the fibers with an alcohol pad. Cable tie the remaining buffer to the splice tray and remove the zip tie excess. Trace the fiber around the tray. You may need to do one or two loops depending on how much fiber you've prepared. And cut the excess if necessary. For this demonstration, we are using a pigtail. You have to place the fiber on top of the other splice chips row. Trace the other fiber to be terminated inside the splice tray too. Use the stripper to remove the very thin buffer layer on the fiber. Once you retire the plastic, you need to clean the fiber with an alcohol pad. Now it's time to use the cleaver to cut the fiber at an angle of 90 degrees. You have to place the fiber on the cleaver at measure of 17 millimeter and then hold it with the magnetic snaps and cut. Place the fiber into the splicer as close as possible to the electrodes and hold it with the clamps. You have to repeat the procedure with the other fiber. But first, introduce the fiber into the fusion protection sleeve in order to protect the bare fiber once you remove the jacket. Remove the buffer layer with the stripper. Clean the fiber with an alcohol pad to remove the dirt. Place the fiber in the cleaver and cut. Place the fiber into the guide Close to the electrodes but making sure it doesn't touch the other fiber. Hold it with the clamps. Once the two fibers are inside the fusion splicer, close the lid. Look at the device's screen. You'll see it shows you as the fiber's cores align. Then the fusion automatically begins. Now when the fusion is over, the device shows you the approximate loss resulting from the splicing. Open the lid, take the fiber and place the protection sleeve over the bare zone. Place the protection sleeve inside the heater. Close the lid and wait until it heats the sleeve. The splicer will let you know when it's done. And your fusion splice is ready. Now you have to place the heat sink into the splice chips according to the way you arranged your fibers. Repeat the process with the remaining fibers and you're done.